A research project in its second year going on in the Upper Hoback River Basin between Jackson and Pinedale is giving researchers some interesting data on moose habitat, migration patterns, and general survival. The study focuses on moose in Noble Basin, an area proposed for natural gas development. This winter, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department and the Wyoming Cooperative Fish and Wildlife Research Unit fitted global positioning collars on 30 cow moose, bringing the total number of moose in the study to 54. Preliminary data from the first year indicates some of the radio collared moose spent the entire year in almost the same location, suggesting a closer look at habitat conditions is needed. Blood tests from the first year showed only 48% of the cow oh, moose captured were pregnant and a 65% pregnancy rate in year two. Low pregnancy rates often indicate poor body condition, a byproduct of drought, harsh winters, or low quality habitat. This year, to estimate body condition, ultrasonography was used to measure rump fat, the first detailed study to evaluate body fat levels of Shirus moose. Many of Wyoming's moose populations have noticeably declined over the past several decades, particularly in western Wyoming. However, the sublet herd has slightly increased in recent years, especially those living on the east slope of the Wyoming range. Researchers say they're hopeful the study data provides answers as to whether this moose population is producing calves in alternate years. If natural gas development occurs, researchers want to know how moose populations will be affected and use the data so that development can be done in a way that minimizes impacts to moose and other wildlife. This project is one of several moose projects being conducted in collaboration with the Wyoming Cooperative Fish and Wildlife Research Unit at the University of Wyoming. The Wyoming Governor's Office is providing funding in excess of $100,000. Other contributors include the Bridger Teton National Forest, the Wyoming Game and Fish, Wyoming Governor's Big Game License Coalition, Plains Exploration and Production, and the Wyoming and Sublette County Outfitters and Guides Associations. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.